the roots of the quadratic equation x square plus 5x minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6 equal to 0 where alpha is a constant options e question three methods we will solve here. First method, we use shortcut method. Use first, this shortcut method is months long. fast we can solve the first First, we can answer. Okay. So, we question x square plus 5x minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6. So, here sum is equal to x and coefficient 5. Okay. Here roots alpha plus 1 and minus alpha plus 6. Okay. Option B. Okay. Any method explains here. Okay. If we options, we will directly we will roots the numbers in the alpha plus 1 and alpha plus 6. We will find the sign of the sign. Okay. Okay. Now, we will find out the sum is equal to 5. Okay. Now, we will find the numbers 1 and 6. Now, 1 and 6 are different than 5. Okay. The numbers are different than we will split the numbers in the numbers in the opposite sign. That is, the positive and the negative. If we have the numbers in the same sign, we will add the same sign. If we have the positive sign, we will add the negative sign. If we have 5, we will add the number in the positive sign. We will add the number in the negative sign. If we look at the option, we omit A and D. A and D are the two positive signs and D are the two negative signs. So, we select these two. So, I select this one first. Now, the sum is equal to 5. No, plus 5. No, if we have a result of positive, we will split the numbers in the value of the positive sign. If we have a positive sign, we will have a negative sign. Now, what is the number of numbers? 1. 1 means negative sign. If you have a negative sign, it is minus alpha plus 1. Here, 1 means negative sign. Okay? So, we select the numbers minus alpha plus 1 and alpha plus 6. Here, we select the numbers and alpha plus 6. We don't have to select the numbers and alpha plus 6. We will find the roots. Okay? Now, next step, we will find the roots. X squared is coefficient 1. That is the value of a value. In this case, we will find the roots of numbers. The numbers are minus alpha plus 1, alpha plus 6. We will find the roots of the opposite sign. That is the minus alpha plus 1 and plus alpha plus 1. If you are confused about this, we will find the options. We will find the sum of 5. We will find the sum of 5. We will find the sum of 5. A is the five result. Okay? Now, we have to say alpha plus one plus alpha plus six. Two alpha plus seven. This is optional. Second option. Alpha plus one plus minus alpha plus six. That is alpha plus one minus alpha minus six. Now, one minus six is minus five. Now, that is optional. Next is C. Minus alpha plus one plus alpha plus six. That is minus alpha minus one plus alpha plus six. Minus 1 plus 6 is plus 5. Now, we will get numbers here. Okay, number is here. If you have x squared and coefficient 1, it will be the opposite sign of x and the root. Now, we will use the second method. If you have options, we will solve it. You will use the middle term splitting. You will use the formula. Now, we will use the first middle term splitting. First, we will note down a, b and c in the value. A is equal to x square in the coefficient that is 1. B is equal to x in the coefficient that is 5. C is equal to minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6. Okay, but if the sum is equal to B is equal to 5. Next, product is equal to A into C. 
AC equal to A equal to 1 into minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6. That is minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6. Okay, so we will directly split it. Alpha plus 1 and alpha plus 6. Next, sign find out. That is the sum. The sum is equal to 5. Now, 1 and 6 is the difference. Now, we will subtract the alpha and the alpha and the alpha. Okay, now, the difference is the find out. Now, the difference is the number of positive sign and the number of negative sign. Okay, so what number is the positive and negative sign? So, here we will sum is equal to plus 5. So, plus 5 is equal to plus 5. Plus 5 is equal to plus 5. Here, the bigger number is positive sign. So, the bigger number is alpha plus 6. This is positive and this is negative. So, if we satisfy the condition, that is minus alpha plus 1 plus alpha plus 6. Now, what do we do? Minus into plus alpha is minus alpha. Minus into plus minus. 1 plus alpha plus 6 minus alpha plus alpha 0 minus 1 plus 6 is plus 5 product minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6 ok the condition satisfied okay, next step 5 in a split area minus alpha plus 1 plus alpha plus 6 in a split area that is x square plus minus alpha plus 1 plus alpha plus 6 into x minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6 equal to 0. Next, x in a multiply jaya that is x square plus minus alpha plus 1 into x plus alpha plus 6 into x minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6 equal to 0. Next step, e bracket open to you. That is x square plus minus minus alpha plus 1 into x plus into plus plus alpha plus 6 into x minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6 equal to 0. Next step group A x square minus alpha plus 1 into x le x common on outside it that is x into remaining x minus alpha plus 1 next plus alpha plus 6 into x minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6 so alpha plus 6 is common on outside it alpha plus 6 into remaining x minus alpha plus 1 equal to 0 next x minus alpha plus 1 common on outside it so, x minus alpha plus 1 outside it thale, it remaining x plus, it outside it remaining alpha plus 6 equal to 0. So, either first term is equal to 0 or second term is equal to 0. That is, x minus alpha plus 1 is equal to 0 implies x equal to uh, minus alpha plus 1 in RHS like that is plus alpha plus 1. Next, x plus alpha plus 6 equal to 0 implies x equal to plus alpha plus 6 in RHS like it come up minus alpha plus 6. Okay. So, answers. So, answer. So, x into roots alpha plus 1 na minus alpha plus 6. Option B. Okay. Any third method formula you say that we can use. Formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. But first we can b square minus 4ac in the value. Naoka. b square. b is equal to 5. So b square is 5 square minus 4 into a equal to 1 
into c equal to minus alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6 equal to 5 square 25 minus into minus plus 4 into 1 4 4 into alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6 equal to 25 plus 4 into alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6. We will use shortcut method. It is alpha plus 1 into alpha plus 6. Now, we will use alpha and coefficient 1. 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 Now, we will use first alpha and alpha. That is the first term. We will use alpha and alpha. Next number. That is alpha next number. In this case, we will use the first alpha. So, alpha square. Now, the second term. We will add the number. Then, 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 alpha. Now, we will use the next term. Next third constant is the product. Then, 1 into 6 is 6. Any confusion in the middle, we will multiply it. First, alpha into alpha plus 6 plus 1 into alpha plus 6. Multiply it. Alpha into alpha, alpha square plus alpha into alpha into 6, 6 alpha plus 1 into alpha, 1 alpha plus 1 into 6, 6. That is alpha square plus 6 alpha plus 1 alpha. 6 plus 1 is 7 alpha plus 6. Okay. In the next step, 4 multiply. Jaya. That is equal to 25 plus 4 into alpha square. 4 alpha square plus 4 into 7 alpha. 4 into 7 is 28 alpha plus 4 into 6 24. That is equal to next like terms add here. Okay. But 25 or 24. Like terms are like 25 plus 24 is 49 plus 4 alpha square plus 28 alpha. Next 49 is 7 square. Right. 4 alpha square is 2 alpha whole square. Right. Plus 28 alpha. Okay. Now, we have three terms and run perfect square. Okay. That is the first term. That is a plus b whole square form. This is plus. So, a plus b whole square form is expansion. Okay. Now, we will see. Now, we will say a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, first, we will rearrange that formula. First, 7 square. Next, square, next perfect square is last. Right? Next, 28 alpha plus 2 alpha square. Okay. Okay. Now, compare here. First, a square. Now, we will say 7 square. Right? Okay. Now, a square is b square. Like compare it like a square b square. Okay. Next. A square is equal to 7 square. Anang a equal to 7. Anang. Like similarly, b square is equal to 2 alpha square. Anang. Okay. Apa b is equal to b equal to 2 alpha. In the next one, the we have middle term. 2ab. Now, 2ab is equal to 28 alpha. We will say this a plus b whole square and the expansion on the check here but 2ab is equal to 2 into a equal to 7 into b is equal to 2 alpha that is equal to 2 into 7 14 2 into 7 14 into 2 28 alpha satisfied on the left with the 2ab formula okay so, this is a plus b whole square and the expansion and where a is equal to 7 and b is equal to 2 alpha. So, this is equal to 7 plus 2 alpha whole square. That is 
b square minus 4ac equal to 7 plus 2 alpha whole square. Okay, then we have the equation. We have the equation the root of b square minus 4ac. That is equal to root of 7 plus 2 alpha whole square. Cancel it. 7 plus 2 alpha. Okay, that is root of b square minus 4ac equal to 7 plus 2 alpha. Next step, we will formulate the values to substitute. For first, minus b. That is equal to minus b is equal to 5. So, 5 plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac is 7 plus 2 alpha. 7 plus 2 alpha by 2a. That is 2 into a equal to 1. Okay. Split the That is x equal to minus 5 plus 7 plus 2 alpha by 2 into 1 is 2. Or x equal to minus 5 minus 7 plus 2 alpha by 2 into 1, 2 x equal to minus 5 plus 7 plus 2 alpha by 2 equal to minus 5 plus 7 is plus 2. 2 plus 2 alpha by 2. 2 common on outside that is 2 into 1 plus alpha by 2. 1 plus alpha by 2. Cancel it. 1 plus alpha is same as alpha plus 1 okay next x equal to minus 5 next bracket open here minus into plus 7 is minus 7 minus into plus minus 2 alpha by 2 minus 5 minus 7 is minus 12 minus 12 minus 2 alpha by 2 2 common on outside edukka. that is equal to 2 outside edukka. remaining minus 6 minus alpha by 2 okay that is equal to minus 6 minus alpha minus common on outside edukka. minus outside edukka. plus 6 plus alpha which is same as minus of alpha plus 6 so roots x equal to alpha plus 1 and x equal to minus alpha plus 6.